Always great chatting with my next guest. Tristan Connolly is going to be back in action, taking on Darren Elkins. Huge fight coming up here. UFC Fight Night, April 30th. Tristan, how's it going, man? Going good, man. Good to be back from the dead. Yes, I was going to say, the last time we did an interview, you were in the hospital, you are going under the knife. How did everything go with the surgery, and uh, when were you actually able to get back to training? Uh, surgery, you know, went, went well, just like the last one. Actually, uh, better than the first one is since that uh, we got onto it before the disc really attached the nerve the first one the surgeon had to cut the disc off the nerve and so i said it took like two or three extra hours which i found out later is like most surgeons won't even do that um and so this one is, uh, we were on a little faster so it uh, didn't have a chance to really adhere uh and he like peeled it off the nerve he said and uh so uh, it was, it's, I mean, the recovery is pretty much the same, but it just right after when I woke up from the first one, my whole side was frozen. And I, I thought that was normal this time. It wasn't. So it was actually the first week was actually a lot more comfortable this time. Good. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, oh, yeah. that, and, that's then, and then training, uh, it, I've been training since Christmas, like oh, contact no way. Training okay, cool. Christmas. That's when I was cleared in contact and I, I've been ramping it up since then. And I, man, I'm going a hundred percent now. I feel great. Like I honestly feel like I can take a fight in the next three weeks and even make weight in the next three weeks. My, I'm, I'm right where I need to be. And I'm super excited for this fight. That's good. And uh, by the way, we're in the new house now, right? Cause I remember, I don't know if last time we spoke, you had, uh, you got the house cause I know you were working on getting it. I remember you're staying with your parents before, right? Yeah. Uh, I think, well, when I had the surgery, I think I was, because, oh, okay. but I had to go back to Victoria for the surgery. Cause I went back to see uh same surgeon, John son, who, who took care of me first time and this time, man. I, I, without him, I, I wouldn't be here. I'd probably still be waiting for my first surgery. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. So yeah, that's all taken care of. And I imagine like you found out about this fight recently, I would think, cause uh, it's not till the 30th. So there's a lot of time you get a full camp, which is great. Yeah. I, I mean, it's been in talks for a few weeks, um, but I, on, I was actually offered uh, before Pat, it was supposed to be Darren last year. And I was totally right. super excited and it sounded like it was a hundred percent. And two weeks went by, uh, and then uh, the date didn't work for Darren, and so then the way they replaced it with Pat. Uh, so I was really excited to get that fight, and when I, I got Pat, I was like, oh, you know, like, I mean, nothing, not that Pat wasn't a great opponent, and he's awesome, was just, you know, Darren Elkins is a guy, he's been around, like he, you know, his name is going to bring my name up, and it's it's a guy that I've looked up to, and uh, and I've watched fight for years, and so this is almost like a bucket list fight in the sense that, this is the first time I'm fighting anyone that I've, you know, really watched for years and years and years. And, uh, and it's going to be, you know, win, lose or draw. It's going to be a big, big memory in my life. Uh, Hey, you know, I fought, I fought this guy that everyone knew, you know, was, I I think he's a legend. He's, he's a guy that beats guys that he's not supposed to beat over and over again. uh, And he just keeps coming. And uh, that excites me, you know, like, I think we are very stylistically similar in that way. And I think it's 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 a great fight on paper, and I'm I'm really excited to put on a show. Some might even say you're the Canadian Darren Elkins with that fight you had against Dewan Owens. You had blood in your eye. You still got it done in the fifth round, similar to what he's done in some of his fights too. So uh, yeah, I mean I'm glad it it came together. And there's a lot at stake too as well. You sort of mentioned this uh, on that global uh, news uh, piece they did. You know this is the second last fight in your contract. Typically you renegotiate on the last one. So the stakes are really high here, and it's against uh, an opponent like I said that you know gets you really excited. I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, exactly as you said it I'm uh, this is you know my my third fight in my contract so if, if this one goes well then uh, you know Jen we'll, we'll probably be looking to renegotiate right after and uh, that's obviously my my game plan I'm you know I'm 36 years old is a late to the show but I, I and I had you know a couple surgeries and setbacks here but I feel great right now and you know I, I feel better than I did when I was 25. Uh, I, I think I got lots of years left, so I want to make sure that I take advantage of all of them. And I'm really pushing everything else other than my daughter aside. Uh, I, I, I'm actually, I'm selling my interest in my gym. I'm still going to be there, but I'm just selling the interest for, so I don't have to manage it or run it. Uh, and I can just focus on me. I have nothing tying me here. It's just, it's, it's all fighting from this point forward. Uh, and uh, I'm going to run with it. And just uh, last thing before we talk of the matchup, uh, as a Rise FC alumni, uh, what did you think of Chad and Helliger getting that win over the weekend? A gutsy performance comes out and gets a late finish. Yeah, so I actually I only saw the results. I haven't actually had a chance to watch the card. The only I was been so crazy with this this last week trying to get everything ready for camp. The only fight I saw was Johnny Walker's fight, uh, <laughs> and that one hurt me too. But I talked to Johnny. Johnny's my buddy. I talked to him after. He said he's fine. You know, I got mm-hmm. I got caught. He's got a great attitude. 
Um, but he said, you know, he's, he feels fine. He's good to go. He'll be back in the gym training right away. So uh, that's just a bruised ego on his part, which is, uh, you know, best we can hope for in that case. But uh, yeah, I, I, Chad is a guy that just keeps coming, keeps, he, he actually kind of reminds me of me a bit where he turned his career around. His Same thing. Like, like a bit, yeah, a record that they turned it around and a guy who got in a little bit later too. Which yeah. Is a little later. And it's like, our stories are so similar. Like, and we're, you know, we're also both not the type of person that if you looked at us, what you'd expect as much as us from. And I almost guarantee he is a very similar that when he started, everyone he thought that was gonna make the UFC didn't, and no one thought he was. And now look who's there. It's, you know, I, that's my story. Everyone else I thought was going to make it, they all quit. And I'm, yeah, I'm the only one that was left. So, you know, I always root for another Canadian, another guy, another underdog story. So I'm super happy you got the finish. And uh, I, I look forward to going back and watching it. Let's talk about Darren Elkins. You mentioned it there. Gutsy guy, good wrestling, good stand up. Comes from the Team Alpha Male camp. Uh, am I missing anything here as far as the style matchup? How are you looking at this one? No, yeah. I just, I mean, Darren, uh, the, the, the good and the bad that I see, one, like, he, too many guys have underestimated him thinking, you know, he's not, he's not the cleanest, uh, cleanest fighter, but man, can he fight? And I think they take that thinking, Oh, well, uh, you get these younger guys that are super athletic and they're like, Oh, well, I'm sharper. I'm crisper. I'm just going to pick them apart. And then they catch him and they, they, he, you know, he, he, he definitely gets a little rocked, but where I think they make the mistake is a lot of people see someone get rocked and when they're rocked, they're kind of, giving up and the person follows up not darren you know he'll get rocked and he'll just he'll swing left if you're over here he'll just keep going right and you'll hit him he'll spin around and keep hitting you so you can't empty the tank against him you can't how many guys have tried to choke him and gas their arms out and lose it's really about uh taking your time and fighting a smart fight and that's where where you see that uh fighters have had success that stick to a good clean game plan they're usually able to get the job done uh, and so that's what we're going to be, be looking to do. I mean, I know I'm a cardio machine. I know I can fight exactly like Darren, but I feel that that would really just, you know, that make it more of a roll in the dice. So I'm going to try and be calculated. I always have in the back of my back pocket of being calculated and, and crisp and precise doesn't work. Well, I can definitely lean on that. But game plan A is going to try and be, you know, make a miss and make him fight my, uh, make the fight that I want him to fight uh, and look to pick him apart. And, uh, yeah, that's, you know, without giving out too much details, that's uh, pretty much yeah. what the, the game plan is. And, and we definitely are very afraid of getting, not afraid, but like we don't want to get into a really, really big wrestling match with him uh, as that is his clear strength. So um, I, if he wrestles, I, I want him to come to me. Uh, I don't want to be the one getting too aggressive and having to put me on my back over and over again. So that's kind of where we're at. Training camp. Uh, I know last time we spoke, you were thinking of going down to Vegas. And actually, since we spoke and actually something that just happened last week, they dropped the PCR testing, which is great if you're going across the border. For those who don't know, we had to pay like 200 US just to come back into Canada, even if you're vaccinated. Whole thing's ridiculous. So they dropped that. I think that comes in March 1st, uh, which is coming up here pretty soon. So what's camp looking like going into this? Yeah, so um, uh, I mean, I've been kind of just sort of in camp the last uh, last month. All of February has been like, hey, I feel good. Let's let's push. Let's uh uh, let's pretend like we're in camp right now, make sure everything's holding up in my neck. And, uh, and it has, so we took the fight. And, uh, so I'm going to keep going really hard for the next uh, couple weeks. Then I'm going to go down to Vegas in March. Uh, and I'm going to, I'm still going to keep going. I'm actually going to dial it back a bit because my weight's good. And I'm going really hard right now. Uh, I'm going to focus a bit more in Vegas, a bit more on wrestling a lot more, uh, and kind of, uh, a little bit more recovery. Uh, with the PI and everything, and then come back and finish uh, the last two really hard weeks with uh, my team here that I know and trust really well. Uh, and then two weeks before the fight, go down and just hang out in Vegas and do my weight cut there and uh, and enjoy the enjoy the sunny weather. Okay. Uh, who? So who are you training with here and who will you be training with in Vegas? So uh, here I'm working, actually working with my my old coach, Adam Ryan. He, uh, he's been back around uh, a lot and helping. He, he just had so much going on in his life that he just he couldn't commit to anything. It's been a few years, but he's got everything squared away now, and he's just been in helping me. And his mind for MMA is, it's, it's, I've met a lot of guys, and it's quite mm -hmm. exceptional. And the others, I've uh, started working with Jay Johnson uh, nice. and uh, just working my striking. So. The two of them are going to come down with me. Uh, I got Jeremy Kennedy's going to be my uh, my wrangler in the back there, get me all warm. So that's going to be my team. When I go down to Vegas, Casey Halstead at 10th Planet, that's my guy down there. Like, I, I just love the way he thinks. 
Um, so I, I'm going to do most of my training with his team when I get down there. That's cool. And Jeremy, by the way, huge fight with Aaron Pico coming up. I was so excited when I saw that. A lot of upside uh, for Jeremy uh, in that fight, I think, which is uh, which is really cool. Um, how's this fight playing out? I mean, you said you don't want to give away the game plan, but how do you envision the fight going down? Well, honestly, the game plan is to win by decision. Um, <laughs> I keep, because I think everyone that goes into game plan to try and finish them, uh, that's where they fail. Mm -hmm. The finish may come, um, but I think the highest percentage chance with Elkins and the way I want to fight him is that uh, I win by decision because I do not want to make mistakes other people have uh, and I want to play it safe. And he's a tough guy. And if it, if I don't take those big risks, it might not come. But I think that's the safest way to get the W. But that being said, um, he does leave openings and things will happen. If I if I take that that pace, I might, you know, I might knock him out. You getting up to anything as far as downtime, watching any shows or anything like that, any movies, what, what, anything you've seen good recently? Watching watching the news a lot here, but, uh, uh, you know, I'm just hanging out with my, my daughter, my wife, in my spare time. Um, you know, I'm watching, I'm watching uh, Misha Tate on uh, Celebrity Big Brother. <laughs> oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's crushing everyone. She's just, yeah. like, it's hilarious. We're like, wow, she's, every competition pretty much she wins. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty funny. <laughs> cool. And you're always a good interview, Tristan. Appreciate the time, man. Uh, anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media, I'll give you the last word. Uh, yeah, there's, there's so many people that help me out. I obviously always I uh, want to thank my, my wife uh, for allowing me to, to follow this dream uh, and uh, all my teammates, everyone at Pinnacle MMA and, uh, in Richmond. And, I mean, I train at a bunch of other gyms. I, there's too many people to list. Um, and I so. You know, follow me on social media, MMA Tristan, Twitter, MMA Twist Tristan, uh, Facebook is Tristan Boone Connolly. Uh, and uh, thank you, James, for always giving me this avenue and uh, helping get my name out there.